Here we have organization O1 and group G2. We have the exist collection path, project DB, and we're choosing to upload a file named project SBC Moines 2xml The alias we give is different. We'll capitalize the letters and scrunch them up and change the numerical suffix to 2. Description is test 2 and then we press the upload button. Notice that we get a new listing for SPC Moines 2. We're going to press the first link URL and here on the general info page of the X forms we click on the plus button for language then do an entry in my language and we'll go ahead and collapse it even though it's a simple node it is collapsible and then we expand it and then simply delete that new node we'll do the same thing with the distribution node press the green plus button and notice we get its child online and its grandchild URL then we provide another entry and we'll collapse distribution and then expand it we have the same entry uh, we'll just go ahead and delete it back again let's return back to the file manager um, now we're going to start looking at the schema walker generation for the XForms code. Notice that we automatically get a schemawalker.docs file when we first execute the schemawalker.jar, which I did by double clicking on the jar file in the Mac environment. Then we expand the schemawalker docs and look at the properties file. And we'll open it with my favorite editor, Coda. Inside Coda, there are two lines of interest, the xforms.pages and the xforms.control. Both of those reference an older Tomcat, so we'll go ahead and change the new Tomcat to the Tomcat 6026. Then we save the file, exit, and we turn back to the schemawalker.jar file by double-clicking on it. Uh, we're going to look back at the properties file to see if it remained intact if it wasn't run over by the second execution of the schema walker app. We see that the uh, Tomcat 6026 is still intact. And so we go back to the schema walker and we're going to explore the number of pages that are generated. Notice that the node tree panel is on the left side for, in this case, the general info page and we go to the people page and we see the nodes for that and then the coverage page as well and then keywords design description associated material associated projects reports and then permissions going back to the general info page we're going to remove the language node notice that it's currently included it's in bold and so when we double click on it, it will turn to normal font. Notice that it's not included any longer. And we're going to go ahead and add the coverage node. But the coverage node has children of its own and grandchildren. So we'll click in particular on the geographic coverage, geographic description. Note that the nodes in blue are required nodes and then bounding coordinates the bounding coordinates for west, east, north and south then we'll go ahead and save the page but before we do look at the eml-base file that's the home page for the X forms that are generated so we save the page then we return back to the file manager page and click on the second link this time for the project SBC Moines 2.
the general info page appears. We, we not, notice that we have the language node no longer present and we now have the new coverage node on that page along with all its children and grandchildren. We're returning back to the Schema Walker dialog page and removing the newly added coverage node. So we just double click on it and it essentially removes it. And then also we'll add back the language node here for the language node, we have the option to set it as an input box or text area. We're going to go ahead and just save the page and then return back to our X forms, making sure that we do not save whatever changes or whatever data we added. We'll just click in the upper left image. And then we click back into the original file and assure that the language node has reappeared and the coverage node removed. We have the full open source code available for the file manager metadata editor and schema walker and also the deployment war files for file manager metadata editor plus a jar file for the schema walker. Thanks for watching.